welcome to Lone Wolf Productions or Lone Wolf's Production, whatever you wish. Uh, it is quite obviously me, DJ Zelix. Uh, I'm doing some uh, old, good, little, 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 yeah, good old fashioned uh, RCT3. See, people do mess up while they're recording. Um, and you will see that on tape. Amazing. Um, so, as you can quite obviously see, and I'm going to pop this out of the way. I did some stuff while you guys were gone. Yeah, nothing really extremely fancy. Um, I got some, as you can see, some new uh, custom track rides. Fancy, schmancy. Um, did a bit of um, also some new scenery, as you can see from these ports and that such. Um, but I didn't do anything too extremely fancy. Uh, just did a bit of stuff. Um, this I don't think I'm going to be building very much in this video. I think I'm just going to be doing some ex explanations, um, not such. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to get many videos out. Um, it's kind of hard for me to do it because I've got multiple th stuff going on. I'm on uh, our parkour on Gmod, all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, good lord. Um, just as an FYI to everybody that uh, is coming here from um, a link from another video, uh, specifically one that has to do with the art of parkour on Gmod. Uh, yes, I am DJ Zelix on Steam. Yes, I am that quote unquote ninja on on art of parkour, whatever you want to call me. Um, Tech Hero Omega is quite obviously Tech Hero Omega from that server. Um, for those that don't have any clue what I'm talking about, just ignore what I just said. Uh, now that that's out of the way, uh, let's get on to kind of explaining what I've been doing here. So, as you can quite obviously see, I built a bit of a, uh, network here with the, uh, uh, monorail, which is our park transit now. And it's going to three of our, uh, four-ish sectors, kind of, I guess I'm going to say what they are kind of I don't know I'm going with three because I know that there's going to be at least three um, so yeah um, oh good lord I didn't do any of this math uh, great uh, this video might be kind of short because I did not do the math before I started recording herp or derp whatever you want to say uh, <laughs> um, here I'm going to do the math really quickly um You get to here. I go since that's gonna be boring. Just doing that. Why don't you guys ride this thing while I think about what the math is? Okay. Sorry about that. I had to think about that for a couple seconds. So we've got roughly about ten more minutes left. Um, sorry, I had to think about that for a second. Um, so this is Park Transit. Uh, we just left the train, the uh, switch track. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, so first off, um, let's explain kind of the themed areas because this is kind of a theme park now. Um. This area right here is the entrance way. This might be a, a individual land right here. I don't know yet. Maybe. Um, this area is going to be like a, a adventure kind of theme, and I'm going to as soon as I get it, put uh, Jeep R C R T C T R. Boy, I can really pronounce today. C T R in here that I got while you guys were gone. Uh, this area is kind of like an air area. Um, themed after kind of adventure in the sky and that such um, yeah kinda of making this up as I go slightly uh, this area sorry uh, this area right here is like the kitty land so I've got this ride right here which actually oh no I did it 
Uh, I gotta fix some stuff because I did stuff on a free play of this that I uh, started earlier and haven't gotten around to fixing it. And this is um, our little ride, train ride thing with custom control panel. Yay! Um, actually, so just in FYI, most of the scene, custom scenery and most of the custom stuff, uh, you can all find that just by searching it up by name. Like, that's like a control panel. Uh, most of the stuff I just found up on um, uh, Custom Scenery Depot, which is a, a custom scenery place for um, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, and you can find a bunch of stuff from Shy Guys World there. Um, since that place is currently offline, slightly, maybe, I don't know. Alright, so... I gotta fix some stuff on this rod because I did some stuff that I really did not like about this. I told you it'd be kind of just an introduction video. Um, or kind of reintroduction, I guess. So I'm going to switch this to uh, testing. And this is actually a really cheap way of getting everybody off of the rod without actually like teleporting them. And it'll just like get everybody off of the ride and they'll keep on running the cars and that such. And since I'm running out of time like crazy, I'm going to um, just speed it all up. And as you can see, that car is now empty. That car is now empty and not such. There we go. Alright, problem solved. So here's a little thing that I figured out. So, uh... While I was away, I actually rode this a couple times, and I figured out that it's actually going way too fast. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, for these curves, and as you know, going on these kinds of curves, um, just like that, will probably break your neck. So, I figured out this. There is a custom uh, button that will allow you to, it's right here uh, on a curve, they'll just let you do it and they'll custom it'll figure out how in the world to do it like right here see it's really nice it's really effective um, I've literally just figured it out yesterday um, it only works on going down curves like this or just like regular curves uh, it won't go on going up as you can see here it won't work Ooh, but ooh, I did not know I could do that. Oh right, because it's this kind of rod. Herp -er um, and then let me really quickly fix some stuff over here. I figured out a way to make this rod a whole lot freaking more efficient. So I'll turn this up to twenty one, twenty two. Sorry, told I'm just trying to remember this off the top of my head. I did it in a different save. That I really don't want to have to transition to right now. Because that would take too freaking long for me. Uh, 2017. Yeah, I'm just mumbling to myself right now. You don't really need to pay attention to my mumblings. Alright, now that's fixed. Close that. Game freezes up. Uh, fanciness. I don't know if it actually freezes up for you guys. Maybe it's just for me. I don't know. Um, and then we do assuming I know where in the world I'm going. Which I never do. Actually I kind of do. But some of the stuff I'm just going off the top of my head. Here we go. Uh, I, for some, I really like it going there. I don't know why. I don't know why in the world I do that, but it works. I don't know why it works, but it works extremely effectively. And now everything should be all fine and dandy. So now, it, so this is what I figured out. So if I'm doing this correctly, as soon as one, if assuming that there's enough people uh, in the ride queue, uh, as soon as one car will come in, it gets loaded up, it leaves, and right as it leaves, there's another car coming in. That's how the timing is, I, I found out, if I do this just correctly. Um, and I'm going to speed this up to kind of show you what I mean by that. Because I know for a fact that if I give this 
run enough time, it will just speed up, speed up correctly enough. Oh, now the, by the way, this is uh the Effling train from Effling uh land. Uh, somebody ported that into RCT3. I really love it. It's got some really nice animations to it. Um, so let's see if is there enough. Okay, so here let me show you what what I mean by this. So see, there's already a train lining up. Got paralyzer running through my head. I was just listening to it right before I started recording this. Just as it, I know there's a bunch of tutorials on how to record it online. I'm just going to give you a hint that I found personally that works really well for me. Right before you start recording, try and relax yourself. Um, just kind of like think about what you're going to talk about um, and that such. Now I'm actually going to have to go in a couple seconds, but you kind of see what I mean by this. So as soon as a car leaves, there's another car coming in. And it works extremely effectively. And also, not only that, but there is a that uh, block break right here. I don't really need to use it. <gasps> the Jeep! Okay, this is what I was talking about. Jim's Jungle Jeep. That's the uh, uh, custom track ride I was talking about. Now I'm going to put that in while you guys are gone. And I will see you guys later. Bye!